Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and look at a word problem which involves some exponents uh, in the equation there or the function. So looking at this, a bank features a savings account that has an annual percentage rate of R equals 2.8% with interest compounded semi-annually, meaning that it will compound twice every year. Zach deposits 4000 into the account. The account balance can be modeled by this exponential formula. Now the nice thing about this formula is it tells us what each of the unknowns is. S is the future value, P is the present value, R is the annual percentage rate, N is the number of time each year that it's compounded, and T is the time in years. And when we find our answers, we'll round to the nearest penny. But notice on this one, it, on part A, it asks, what values should be used for P, R, and N? Well, it was all given to us in the words. So let's take a look again at the words. We have an R value here. We have how much he deposits. And we see that it compounds semi-annually, which, again, is twice a year. So we need to figure out what P, R, N, and T is. Well, P is the present value. That's pretty much just how much he's putting into the account, right? So we know that the present value is $4,000. In the words, it told us the rate is 2.8%. And N is the number of times each year that it's compounded. And since it's semi-annually, it happens twice every year. Notice in this equation, or expression, or function it told us that it has a T right here but it didn't say how many years that this is going to occur for so uh, in this A part we don't have to worry about it but in B notice it did tell us that Zach will have the money in the account for T now we know is seven years because T is the time in years now that we have this, all we've got to do is rewrite this function, but instead of having the letters in there, we're going to replace those with the values that we have in place of them. So this is our new function, s of 7. So the future value, depending on 7 years, will be 4,000 times the quantity 1 plus 2.8 over 2 and all of that to the power of 2 times 7. So notice here we have 4,000 times 1 plus 1.4 to the power of 14. And from here it's just a matter of order of operations. So notice we've combined 1 plus 0 0.014. Then we'll do the exponent. And I've rounded 1.014 to the power of 14 there to the 10,000th position. And I'll multiply that by 4,000. And that would be our answer there. So after seven years, you would have $4,859.50 based on an original deposit of $4,000.